coming up on Current OC. Tonight, we take a look inside the environmental science classroom. Plus, we'll show you what's changing in your school bathrooms. These stories and more, it all starts now on The Current OC. TV studios along 6th and Atlantic. Raider Nation's leading news magazine starts now in high definition. This is Current OC. Hello and welcome to the Current OC. I am Mackenzie Pierce. And I am Chris Robertson. Thanks for joining us here on the January 12th edition of the program. Our fellow students are experimenting with the difficulties of maintaining a healthy habit. Morgan Fowle brings us to the environmental science classroom where they are learning the fragile balance of life. Ocean City High School's very own environmental science classes are creating their own systems of aquaculture. Our fellow students are discovering the difficulties of making a habitat suitable for living organisms such as goldfish and common vegetables. One of the greatest uh, challenges of aquaponics that the students are facing is keep the fish happy and healthy and get the bacterial populations uh, in check, uh, but they also have to keep uh, the plant species happy. The students began the aquaponics project in mid-November and over the past months are seeing plant growth thanks to the nutrients provided by the fish. It is a type of farming that could quickly catch on in future years, especially since it's uh, great at conserving water. These types of systems could be popping up um, in a lot of different areas around the world. This new project is opening the world of aquaponics to OCHS students and can spread among the world, becoming a reliant farming system. This has been Morgan Fowl reporting for The Current OC. The average person, person excuse me, doesn't realize the tremendous amount of water they use in a day. I know I don't. Sea Clubs hopes to change this by installing meters on the sinks and toilets to monitor our school's water usage. The average American goes through approximately 80 gallons of water per day. Our very own Sea Club is doing their part to conserve water by partnering with the Water Champion Movement right here at OCHS. So you're going to learn about water conservation in the school. You're going to conduct a water audit, figure out all the ways that you will use water right here, and then decide is it efficient or not. The current OC went to Sea Club's co-president Christian Adams for the inside scoop. The Student Environmental Association is working with the NJDEP in order to, one of, to renovate one bathroom inside the school and one bathroom outside the school in order to work towards water conservation. The students in Sea Club and the water champions are going to put meters on the sinks and toilets in the bathrooms to check how much water is used over the course of time. After collecting the data, Sea Club members are going to submit their water conservation ideas to the school board in hopes of improving our school's efficiency. By renovating one bathroom inside the school and outside the school in a local business, we will be raising environmental awareness both in the community and within the school itself. This has been Maddie Walker reporting for The Current OC. Chris, did you realize tomorrow's Friday the 13th? Oh, no, I hate Friday the 13th. No, on my luck, tomorrow's going to be terrible. Just don't walk under any ladders. Let's take a look at Howie's Friday the 13th. Whoa, Howie, you can't open up an umbrella inside. That's really bad luck. It's Friday the 13th. I wouldn't push it. Pardon the interruption. C Club is now selling fresh, hot, delicious pizza in the main lobby.
guess that you shouldn't have opened up the umbrella, Howie. Many students believe teachers live in a classroom. But in fact, they do have lives. Freedom! 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 For all those students who turn in last minute's work, Don't. Don't be late. Waiting till the last day of the marking period only makes your lives worse. Because teachers get very cranky. January 26, second marking period ends. First one direction breaks up, now this. Anthony Kenny, late. Joseph Dills, late. Joseph Neiman, late. This is late! Doesn't anybody have a clock anymore? If you want to do us all a favor, turn in your work on time. It might just make your life a little bit easier. Stories from your school, your community, continue on Current OC. Welcome back to The Current OC. Make sure to get all of your assignments in on time because it clearly benefits not only you, but your teacher. Now we take a trip to the pool and splash around with the OCHS swim team. Thankfully, the snow from last weekend has finally melted away. Let's see how this weekend compares to last weekend's weather. JC is here with a look at what we can expect. Hello everyone, and we are seeing more spring-like temperatures now in compared to last weekend's temperatures in the near freezing. Looking at our radar, we have storms off to the west, but those shouldn't be affecting us today. Onto our area temperatures, it is pretty mild, 62 in Millville, up in Lakehurst it's 63, over in Philly we have 61, down farther south towards Wildwood we are seeing about 52 degrees out. Onto our local conditions, it's 62 here in Ocean City, humidity is pretty high because it hasn't been um, warm like this in quite a while, 67, wind speeds only going to be picking up to about 20 miles an hour so look out for them. Onto our weekly forecast. It is only going to be about the higher temperatures today and tomorrow. We have 62 and 52. And then on to the later in the week, it's going to be in the 30s and back to the regular 40s that we've been seeing much lately. And on Saturday, we have a slight chance of snowstorms, but not quite sure. I rejoin you guys with Chris and Mackenzie. Well, that'll do it for us on this edition of The Current OC. Remember to log on and catch all of our additional shows and content by visiting oc-tv.org. We're also on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at OCNJTV, so be sure to like our page and follow us there, too. We hope your Friday the 13th is better than Howie's. From all of us here at The Current OC, thanks for watching. <laughs>